Ole Miss softball fans, look who it is. Uh, we get Coach Katie back in Oxford, and we're going to get a chance to sit down with her coach, Katie Rekovich and Browder. It was difficult enough for broadcasters like me to say, and you just had to add a little bit more to it, didn't you? I did. You know, it was a choice. I think it was a choice for the best. I think so, too. I think we all agree with that. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, you you getting that process started of moving uh, here in Oxford? You getting settled in? Uh, you starting to feel comfortable again, feel back at home? Yeah, I uh, signed on the house, closed on the house on Monday. Uh, movers came on Tuesday. The boxes are in the house, but the stuff's still in the boxes. So hopefully we'll get a chance to unload some things with a little bit more time at our hands, and hopefully over the next couple of weeks we'll get moved in. I think it's so evident how much you love Ole Miss, you loved your time in Oxford, and just how much of a no-brainer was it when this opportunity came back to you to come back to the town? Oh, it was it was amazing, you know. The experience that I had in, in Minnesota was something I'm totally grateful for and something that led me back here. When Jamie got the opportunity to come to Ole Miss and she was a little bit familiar with uh, the town just from living it a little bit through my eyes and me filling her in on some things that, that we had done here and just my experience and how many great people that I met while I was here. And um, when she interviewed for it and then she said, you want to come back? I'm like, heck yeah, I want to come back. I love Oxford. I love the people. I love everything that it that it stands for. So I'm super excited to be back, be back with some really great people, really familiar with the recruits, the current players, the people on staff. So I'm um, going to be more excited to be back. What was your experience like in Minnesota? How much did you grow? Because you were just a volunteer coach while you were here. You get a big opportunity to go to the Big Ten, to a powerhouse team in that conference. How much did that allow you to grow? It was huge, really. And after we uh, had a great 2017 season here at Ole Miss, had a few opportunities that came my way, and none of them just felt um, exactly like they were the right thing. And then in 2018, um, after that season, when Jamie called, and I was like, shoot, this is a top 25 program, a great offense, a very successful program that has a long history in the NCAA tournament. Uh, I just thought it was a great opportunity. And Jamie and I clicked right off the bat. We spoke a lot of the same language when it comes to coaching. I uh, went up there, loved the campus, loved the kids, got a chance to meet them. And it was a huge opportunity, a huge growing opportunity for me to have all of the offense uh, myself. Jamie let me run away with it. Uh, I kind of got to develop my own culture on that side of the game, develop my own language. And those kids brought in right away. And, and we had a really special ride in that 2019 season, making it to the World Series. So it was a huge growing moment for me personally as well. Well, you, you said her name a bunch, and you certainly know Coach Traxel better than really anybody in Oxford right now. What is Ole Miss getting with Jamie? Oh, man. Ole Miss is getting a great human, seriously. A person that is all in. She's going to get to know every single player personally and professionally from a softball standpoint. She's going to get to know them, get to know their family, get to know um, just everything that makes them tick. So um, I'm excited for what they're about to experience. Um, it's going to be a really inclusive, collaborative environment. Um, she's going to empower these kids to be the best they can be. And um, Oxford's getting a really special person. You talked about how you know some of these girls on the team already from recruiting and from your time here before you left in 2018. Uh, how much did you keep up with them while you were gone? Because you did develop relationships with players that were still in town. And then a lot of players that maybe transferred or whatever there's relationships everywhere. How much were you able to keep up with the team you had formerly coached and, and watch them as they went on a little bit of a special run themselves? Yeah, so um, I followed all the time. You know, we're not allowed to communicate with them due to the compliance rules, but I followed every game they were in, every chance I had. And funny thing is here in the 2020 season, we both opened up at the same tournament right. down in Clearwater, and we were at the same hotel. So I walked down for breakfast, and they're like, oh, coach Katie so got to see him a couple times um through the season uh and, and just tried to follow him every chance I had you know built built really good strong relationships with those kids wanted to see them succeed uh, we are the same tournament with them in 2019 played against them down at UCF so I got to see those kids there and um it was really cool over the last couple weeks touching base with them seeing their face again getting to Zoom with the, the 2020 and 2021 recruits and their families and just getting to reconnect with those kids. It's been, it's been coming full circle. It's been exciting. You mentioned the World Series that you were able to go to with the Golden Gophers. You've seen how that program operates. They're a model of consistency. What 
can you take from that? What's the next step for Ole Miss so that they can become a team like that here in the SEC? Yeah, and the one thing with those kids is they were really focused. You know, they were focused in the classroom, they were focused on the field, and they were open to anything and everything that was going to make them better. And, you know, when you get a little bit of that magic on your side and things start clicking and the culture is really good and you're all in one unit with your staff and with everybody on your left and your right, good things can happen. And those kids were glued in. They wanted to be successful. Um, and really just the development and the culture that they were in really led them to that stage. And it's definitely something that's attainable here. There's a, that's a reason that this was so attractive to Jamie and myself. Um, Ole Miss is a national brand. We are the, the school in Mississippi, I will say that. Um, it is the, just an awesome school to be a part of, and we're so excited to take what we build at Minnesota and take who we are as people and to bring it down to Ole Miss and just and see what we can build. All right, when things get back to normal, we're going to lunch or dinner. Where are we going? Ooh, man. You know what? One place I could not wait to open was Volta. Yeah. That goat cheese walnut salad is something that I am about. So uh -huh. I was pumped. Big fan. I, we'll, we'll set up a time and uh, later when we uh, get settled in, you get all the things moved out of your boxes and you have a little bit more free time. Katie, we're really, really excited to have you back in Oxford and look forward to seeing you guys get back out on the field here, hopefully in the fall and certainly in the spring. Yes, I can't wait.